Anna, hello and welcome back to our channel. It's Anna, your trusty sexologist, and today we are going to talk about a topic that's been on many people's minds lately, how to have the best MMF threesome. Now, I know that for some of you, this might be a taboo subject, but trust me when I say that it's worth exploring. After all, when done right, threesomes can be incredibly pleasurable and satisfying experiences for everyone involved. So, if you're curious about how to make your MMF threesome fantasies a reality, then stick around because we've got some tips and tricks that will blow your mind. And hey, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, and leave us a comment. We love hearing from you. Are you ready to take your sex life to the next level? Have you ever considered having a threesome? Specifically, an MMF threesome. If you're curious about how to have the best threesome possible, you've come to the right place. In this article, we'll explore everything you need to know about MMF threesomes, from the benefits to the potential drawbacks, and offer tips on how to make it an unforgettable experience for everyone involved. First things first, what is an MMF threesome? Simply put, it's a sexual encounter involving one woman and two men. Unlike an MFF threesome, where one man is involved with two women, an MMF threesome is less common but equally exciting. It's important to note that threesomes of any kind require a lot of communication and boundary setting, and an MMF threesome is no exception. One of the benefits of an MMF threesome is the opportunity for everyone to explore their sexual desires and boundaries in a safe, consensual environment. It can also be a great way to spice up a long-term relationship or to try something new with a trusted partner or friend. However, there are also potential drawbacks to consider, such as jealousy, feelings of inadequacy, or discomfort with certain sexual acts. If you're interested in having an MMF threesome, it's important to approach the experience with an open mind and clear expectations. Talk with your partner or partners beforehand to establish boundaries, such as what acts are on or off the table, how to handle any jealousy or discomfort that may arise, and what to do if anyone wants to stop or take a break. When it comes to the actual experience, communication is key. Make sure everyone involved is comfortable with what's happening and check in frequently to ensure everyone is still having a good time. Remember that everyone's pleasure and enjoyment is important, so be willing to switch things up if someone isn't feeling it or if someone has a particular fantasy they want to explore. Some tips for having the best MMF threesome include setting the mood with music, candles, or other romantic touches, having plenty of lubrication on hand, and being open to trying new things. Remember that everyone involved should feel comfortable and respected throughout the experience. In conclusion, Having an MMF threesome can be an exciting and fulfilling experience for everyone involved, as long as communication, consent, and respect are prioritized. If you're interested in exploring this aspect of your sexuality, make sure to approach it with an open mind and clear expectations, and don't be afraid to communicate your needs and boundaries throughout the experience. With the right mindset and preparation, a threesome can be an unforgettable, transformative experience that brings you closer to your partner or partners, and helps you explore your sexuality in new and exciting ways.